This is Cleopatra, a pharaoh, ruler of Egypt. But who was she really? Too much focus on her sexuality, too much on her lovers, not enough about the real Cleopatra. Coming to Berlin in Germany, we can come face to face. With this mysterious woman, here at the Altus Museum in Berlin, in Germany, they have some of the most amazing Greek art, and they have something that I've really been looking forward to see—a bust believed to be Cleopatra. There is so much myth around her. Cleopatra's story has changed and evolved. Over the years, so much that we get lost when looking for the real facts surrounding her. What we're looking at here is a statue from a private villa in Rome, and this is a bust believed to be Cleopatra, Cleopatra the seventh, the final pharaoh of Egypt. She is identified as Cleopatra because she was discovered next to a statue. Of Julius Caesar, she does resemble the images we have of Cleopatra on coin form. And what's interesting, the images of Cleopatra on the coin form show her wearing this band across her head, the waved hair on the side, and a little bun at the back of her neck. So this very well could be the face. Of the Cleopatra, a woman who tried to save Egypt, a political figure, and an incredibly tactile ruler. A figure whose name and legacy is burned into the minds of billions, coming from a tenacious Greek. Macedonian family, she had to fight and even kill for her place on the throne. A noble attempt to save a failing Egypt. Cleopatra was willing to do anything to retain Egypt. She bore children from two of ancient Rome's most powerful men. She was a writer, an inventor. A scholar. Thousands of years later, we're still talking either about the men in her life or what she looked like, rather than her accomplishments. She left her mark during the final days of ancient Egypt. The seventh queen in her family to be named Cleopatra. Let us see if Cleopatra was black or not. Her story. Has been warped so much throughout history, from biased opinions to praise. Yet, who was she really? The heir to the throne had to be of pure Macedonian Greek、uh, blood. Keep her dignity protected. Everyone thinks they know her. Everyone has a different opinion, but most of those are modern, based on films. And misinformed playwrights. This is the reason why I've been searching for Cleopatra's tomb. I believe she deserves to be found. How much do we really know about the true Cleopatra? <laughs>